Now what are you going to do with that? What are you going to do with the eight in your head and the five in your hand? Can you show us? Everybody look at Olivia. Everybody look at Olivia. Disney. Everybody. Okay, so did you count? Did you put them together? Or did you take them away? How did you do that? You used your head? What step would that be? Number three. Number three said you could use your head. Did anyone else use their head that did it a different way? Javier, how did you do it? Nathaniel, we look at the speaker. You did it by tallies? Good job, but what I'm asking for is someone who did it using their head, who did it in a different way, because the way you did it sounded to me like you were gonna put them together. I'm looking for someone who did it in a different way where they took away in their head. Did anybody do that? Caleb, how did you do that? Everybody look at Caleb, listen to Caleb. Thank you, everybody. Uh-huh, you put five on your head? So you put eight in your head, and you took away the five. Which five did you take away? The five that were what? The five that were inside the truck. And what did you have left? Three. All right, can everybody try it? Let's try what Caleb did, because step three is really good. Everybody close your eyes. Put your pencil down. Close your eyes. Can you see the truck? Yeah. I'm sure everybody's truck is a different color, right? Some of you probably have a green truck, a red truck. Yes, everybody's on a truck? white truck. Oh, I can see it too. Yeah, Boys and girls, look at the red. cars. Mine's a red. Look at the cars inside the truck. How many Mine's are there? They're saying, remember the problem. There's five on the truck, but we're supposed to have eight. We're trying to figure out how many are Mine missing. Has 12. Do you see five? Now, use your fingers. Use your fingers so we can count on till we get to eight so we can figure out how many more we need. Is everybody have, does everyone have their eyes closed? Yeah. Do you see the five cars? Yeah. Now, let's count on. What comes after, after five? Six. Six. So when you get to six, use one finger, okay? Here we go. Five, six, seven, Eight. Look at your fingers. How many do you have? Three. Three. How many of you had three as your answer? Three. Good job. If you didn't, did you see what we did? If someone got something that was not three, can you tell me what you did so I can help you? It's not good to erase because then I don't know I can help you. Christina, did you have something else? I'm cheating. You made words? What words did you use? Listen to the speaker. He can Okay, he can carry eight. Very good. You rewarded the problem. And then? He have a seat. Carry. Carry. Which can I go? He. Where is the other one? Come in. He can carry eight. He carries five. He needs. <gasps> how many more? Three more. Did anybody write a word problem just like Christina? No. No? That's okay. Somebody's out. Now, boys and girls, the third one, I'm going to let you do it all on your own, whichever way you would have solved this problem. Let's pretend we didn't do a picture. Wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop. How many students need to learn? 24. 24. When 24 students are looking at me, that's when I'm going to continue. Then 23. 22. Ready? Eyes on me. Eyes on you. I'm missing eyes. If I'm missing your eyes, Valeria and Christina, not your pencil. 
Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. No, we're not. Mm. I'm missing three eyes. Three pairs. This is the only way you're, you're going to know what to do. If not, you're not going to know. The third one. You're going to do it any way you want. If you want to do number five, what's number five? Surprise. Surprise me. Any way you can think of. As long as you come up with your answer and you tell me how. Okay, go go ahead. I'm going to be looking to see what you're doing. Any way you want. You can use a combination. Any way you want. Okay? Show me. Another way to find the answer to that problem. Good. You're using number three. You're using your head. Okay, I see some of you are using word problems. Some of you are thinking, which is good. You should always think before you start your problem. extra square. Jose, what are you going to be using? Remember, we can use pictures, we can use tallies, we can use your head, we can make a sentence. Can I surprise you? Delilah? Mommy, but I want to take this Take it. Then put it away. What are you going to do, sweetie? A what? You're going to use your head? Okay, and what are you going to put in your head? Let's think. Let's think. How many cars can Caleb's truck pull? Eight, Eight trucks, okay? Do you want to do tallies? Do you want to use your fingers? Do you want to use circles? What do you want to use? Do you want to make faces? How many faces are you going to make? Remember, there's eight. It can pull eight. So how many faces? McKay, I'll be right with you. Eight cars is what Caleb's truck can pull. So we need something that shows us eight. And you want to use faces? How many faces do you need to draw? Eight. So go ahead. Go ahead and make your eight faces. I love the way everyone else is still working so they can surprise me. Good job. If there's nobody there, yes. Okay. Can I lose one? Let's count them. There's eight. All right. Good job. Now, there's five cars inside of the truck. There's five of them. So, let's cross out five cars, because there's five cars that are already there. Okay, we want to know how many more we need. So that one's there, that one's parked, that one's parked, that one's parked, that one's parked. Are these parked? Why not? <coughs> They're only, only these are there. So how many more do we need to park so the truck can be full? Can you count them? Three what? Three cars. So can you can you write that right there? Three. So maybe you can tell me what? Because it could be three bananas. We're not talking about bananas, right? Okay, three what? It is Caleb's cars. Do you need help sounding it out? can do that. Three cars. So you just kept out many faces. You surprised me. That was a good job. Awesome. What do you use, Ashley? Well, here I see that you, you use a plus sign. Now remember that a plus sign means we do what? Show me with your hands what a plus size means. Plus sign means. It means put together. Now there was eight cars that we needed, but there was only five. Did we put eight cars together with five more cars? No, so then should we be using that sign? Or should we be using the takeaway sign? Need your hair as a car. 
take away. Oh, make so let's go ahead and erase that. Boys and girls, listen to this instruction. I can tell from the noise that some of you are ready. I'd like for you to find a partner very quietly to share your solution. Find a partner to share your solution. If you don't have a partner, find a partner right away. Some people don't. Nathaniel, Juan, Lisbeth, find a partner. Christina, find a partner. If you're not done, go ahead and finish. So, so what, what are you going to do to solve this problem? Because it's not put together. You already know it's already right? So, what are you going to use? You want to use takeaway or this picture? Do you want to use a picture? Do you want to use tally? Do you want to do it in your head? Oh, it doesn't need to be in your head. It doesn't need to be in your head. Huh? With your head. Okay. So, yes, you did. In your head, I want you to picture. Are you guys sharing your solutions with each other? What color is it? What color do you see Kayla's truck? It's red. I thought about it being red too. Now. Mine was white. Is that your pencil? Okay. Mine was blue. Mine was white. There's Kayla's red truck. I really like the way that Lisbeth and Jasmine are sharing. I can barely hear them, but I can see that they're sharing. Tell him. What solution did you, what did you use to solve your problem? Can you show your partner? What strategy did you choose? You used what? To receive the How many cards are there? There's eight spaces. 